Starting it off in the number five spot of the best ATX 3.0 power supplies is the Silverstone Gila 1200R Platinum. Coming in at a price tag of $289.99. If you want to check out any of these five power supplies, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. Obviously that ATX 3.0, the 12 volt high power, the PCIe 5.0. These are what I think are the best value dollar per dollar power supplies you can buy. And so while the Silverstone one has an 850 watt, 1200 watt which is the one that i have and 1300 watt variations now for modularity we do expect that it's fully modular here and it is as for connections you have your motherboard connections five pcie connections your 12 volt high power and three sata and molex connections as for fan size this has a 135 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan this also has a mode which they call the semi fanless switch which is the switch on the back of the power supply now to be clear once you click that switch it does not actually remove part of the fan, but it just increases the load on the power supply before the fans kick in. That was kind of a joke. Some people might not get it, but a better name would have been like low speed fan switch. Okay, however, these sleeved cables, are there any? Well, the only cables here that are sleeved is the 12 volt high power cable. Now for overall cables, this has one 24 pin motherboard cable, one 12 volt high power cable, two PCIe cables with an additional three six by two plus six by two PCIe cables. Then you have three SATA cables with four SATA connections on each cable one Molex cable with three Molex connections on the cable, and then one Molex to FDD adapter. All right, now let's move on to the internals. Here you can see the internals on screen, and while I have a basic knowledge of the electrical components inside, I'm sure that a few other people will have more knowledge than me. So this is what you can use, well, your own knowledge, if you so desire. Inside, we have quite a few heat sinks, and while airflow seems to be good here, it does look not as good as some of the others on the list, but this is most likely due to the form factor physically being smaller than the others, which may benefit depending on your build as this is a standard sized power supply. It is not longer uh, than your traditional power supplies, even though it's a much higher wattage and obviously having that 600 watt 12 volt high power connection. Now for the warranty, this is one of the big reasons it was in the number five spot, but I do still recommend it. Is this has a five year warranty. The majority of the others on here have a much longer warranty. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot, which is the Montec Titan Gold 1200 watt. That's the one that I have coming in at a price tag of $219.99. This either comes in 1000 or 1200 watts. This is fully modular. And as for connections, we have the motherboard connection, four PCIe connections, four SATA or Molex connections, and then you have your 12 volt high power connection. As well as this, you have a 135 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan. This also has that low fan speed mode with an on and off switch, which is very cool. As for sleeved cables, we have the motherboard and the 12 volt high power cable sleeved. All the other cables are not, but that's still a win in my book to have the, well, motherboard and that 12 volt high power because realistically in most people's builds, uh, that's, well, the majority of the cables that you're really going to see well, obviously it depends on your build, but most of the time, yeah. Now the cables included are one 24 pin motherboard cable, one 12 volt high power cable, two PCIe cables that can be split into four plus four layouts. This is good for some motherboards. One PCIe cable that can meet in a six plus two layout, and then two more PCIe cables that have that six plus two by six plus two layout. Then you have three SATA cables with four connections on each cable one Molex cable with four connections on that cable. Now for the internals, I do believe that this and the Silverstone are both manufactured by Montec. I'm not sure here, but I'm, I'm guessing, but I think it's like a legitimate guess. Since they have the same overall metal case and design and, and very similar internals. Internals here are relatively the same and use similar heat sinks, pretty good airflow, but not quite as good as some of the others on the list. As for warranty though, now you get a 10 year warranty and I think it's a little bit of a better price. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which is the MSI MPG A1000G, coming in at a price tag of $199.99. That is a good price, especially for 1000 watts. But this also comes in 750 watts, 850 watts, and 1000 watts. Now this is fully modular. And as for the connections, we have the motherboard connection, four PCIe connections, four SATA or Molex connections, and then your 12 volt high power connection. As for the fan size, this again is a 135 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan. You also have one of those low fan modes with a toggle switch. So again, a lot of these three, I do believe were all manufactured by Montec. So they're all gonna be very, very similar here, which is not a bad thing because Montec does a great job. However, I do like the MSI more than the others on the list, 
unless you do want higher wattage over a thousand watts and not because MSI is bad. It's because it doesn't go over a thousand watts. Now this also has a really cool design elements on the fan mesh, although you're probably never going to see it realistically. Although on the side, if you do have an opening in your case where you can kind of see your PSU, there is a very cool design that does not look tacky at all. It has a very nice like MSI logo, but it does not look like logo-y, if that makes sense. It looks very like artistic and clean. I really do like that. As far as sleeved cables go, this has only the 12 volt high power and then some PCIe cables that are sleeved, which is nice, but we'll get into that right now. This has one 24 pin motherboard cable, one 12 volt high power cable. Again, that is sleeved, two PCIe cables in a six by two format that come from that 12 volt high power connection from your PSU. And those are also the sleeved cables here. So it is two cables that are, well, directly not attached. So potentially you could use this for a lower power GPU and then your motherboard potentially like your CPU. So you could potentially use that single connection for that, which does also increase the amount of PCIe connections you have if you're not using that 12 volt high power for like an RTX 4000 series GPU. Then you have two PCIe cables that can be split into a four by four layout. Then you have two additional PCI cables with that six by two plus six by two layout. And there's two of those. So you get plenty of connections here. You then have three SATA cables with four connections on each cable, one Molex connection with four connections on that cable, as well as an FDD connection on that same cable, not an adapter here. That's cool. For the internals, we got a good amount of heat sinks, but definitely a little bit more packed, just like the previous three. Although the warranty here is 10 years. If you're going for 1000 Watts and you want a pretty power supply, that one's really nice. But moving on to the number two spot is the Be Quiet Dark Power 13, coming in at $249.90 for the 850 watt variant, which is the one that I have. That is a freaking ton of money for the wattage, but it's also the most premium power supply on the list. And you're thinking, why is it a number one spot? Well, I think the number one spot's a little bit more worth it, dollar for dollar, but if you want a premium one, well, this is really good. Okay, so this comes in either 750 watt or 800 watt, and it also should be available in 1000 watts, but I can't find it anywhere for sale, so I do have the 850 watt variant. Okay, so this is fully modular, and the connections on the PSU here are a little bit different here. You have a 24 pin motherboard connection, your 12 volt high power connection, then four PCIe connections with two being 10 pin and then two being 12 pin based on different PCIe cables, which will go over if that makes sense. So that doesn't really matter because it's just the connections on the actual PSU itself, which is obviously not standard, but yeah, we'll go over that. Then you have four SATA and Molex connections. And as for the fan size, this is a 135 millimeter silent wings cooling fan uh, that is also fluid dynamic bearing. Now for the design of the mesh grill, while it doesn't really matter here, this is possibly the most attractive looking non RGB supply out there. A beautiful mesh grill on the top or the bottom, depending on your orientation. And these really cool, almost like prison bar with backed mesh uh, for the more airflow on off switch area of the power supply. It just looks awesome. You're probably never gonna see this when it's actually installed here, but it's just really, really nice. This also measures in at a little under seven inches. Uh, so it is slightly longer than your average power supply, although this still should fit in like 95% of ATX cases that are not like small, small cases. For the cables here, they are all sleeved. And I mean all of them, including the SATA and Molex connections. That is one more of the premium things that, well, you do pay for, but if you, appreciate that and that's one of the things you want to spend money on well there's no problem there now you have a 24 pin motherboard cable with a 20 by 4 pin layout you then have one 12 volt high power cable you have one pcie cable then an additional four plus four pcie cable then two dual pcie connections in a six plus two by six plus two layout although here the cables are completely separated from the connection so really they're giving you a total of six pcie connections and that is the cable rather than well obviously then you could have eight PCIe connections as a total of like connections, if that makes sense. Next, you got some pretty cool stuff going on. You have two SATA cables with three connections on each cable, as well as an additional SATA cable with four SATA connections on the cable, which is really cool for maximizing your cable management, uh, depending on if you, well, don't need the extra cable length or the extra SATA connection. And also do remember, those are sleeved. Then you get an additional cable with two SATA connections and two Molex connections on the same cable. You also then have an overclocking switch, which actually goes on your back IO, like where your GPU would mount, which is very cool to implement it in that way if you do choose so. This will then switch your four 12 volt rails into one massive 12 volt rail, which is 
Oh, kind of cool. For the internals, I was unable to get this open without completely scratching up the outside. So here may be some short shots of the internals if I do manage to get into it uh, after the B-roll is shot. For the warranty, this is 10 years as we expect. But moving on to the number one best of value 12 volt high power power supply is the Corsair RM1000X Shift coming in at a price tag of $207.99. These either comes in 850 watts, 1000 watts or 1200 watts. Watts. I got, well, the 1000 watt is the 1000 X says. This is fully modular with the smaller type five connections. And that makes no difference to like the actual connections itself. It's just the connections to the PSU itself. Now the connections here, well, there's a lot. This includes a whopping six SATA and Molex connections and seven PCIe connections followed up by your motherboard connections. As well, I will note that this has side mounted connections instead of your typical rear, which I will say, uh, maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, depending on your case. In some situations, it is awesome and makes it very easy to upgrade things and add certain things that need more power. But, well, you can only have it facing downwards depending on, well, if it's just a traditional ATX case, it's gonna be facing downwards because obviously, well, then the connections are gonna come out the front of the case. So there's a little bit of stuff to think about there, but overall, I really like this. And if I was going to buy one 12 volt high power power supply, this is the one that I would buy. This has a 140 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan. This comes in and slightly over seven inches long, which is definitely longer than your average power supply, but it's not huge by any stretch of the imagination. Now here you do not get any sleeved cables, which is a little unfortunate However, the saving grace here is you get a ton of connections, so that's why I'm not mad. You get one 24 pin motherboard cable, a 12 volt high power cable, which uses two of the PCIe connections, which does kind of degrade it a little bit, but for the price, I'm not mad. Four PCIe cables in a six plus two layout with an additional two PCIe cables that can be split into four plus four layouts. And then another PCIe connection with a six plus two by six plus two layout that can be used for that non 12 volt high power GPUs that have a higher power draw, but not as high as the 12 volt high power. Then you got four SATA cables with four SATA connections on each cable, and you get two Molex cables with four Molex connections on each cable. Now, that is the most amount of connections and cables on the entire list. And if you want a PSU like this, that's going to last you 10, 20, 30 years, potentially seriously, if you wanna continuously upgrade your rig, that's something that's really going to future-proof your rig. And being such a high wattage, where I think the max wattage is like 1600 watts, most likely, even in 20 years, you're going to be able to use this for high-end rigs because, well, realistically, your PC is not going to draw more power than a single outlet. NVIDIA, AMD, all those companies are not gonna design components that are going to, well, overdraw that. Now, for the internals, when you open this up, the first thing you notice, and actually don't open this up, you shouldn't. It'll void your warranty. You shouldn't open it up. I'm just doing it for the video's sake. But the first thing you notice immediately is that this looks like it has really good airflow, which Corsair pretty much always does with their power supplies. That's a big thing here. There's a lot of room between components for cooling. There's a good amount of heat sinks, but not too many to impede airflow. I'm impressed. And for the warranty, you get a 10 year warranty. Again, if you wanna check out any of the five power supplies in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, well, I didn't include this power supply and didn't include that power supply. These are what I think the best value power supplies are. I'm not gonna put that, what is it? The crazy Asus one that looks insane. It's got insane RGB and it's like $600, something ridiculous. So I didn't include that one. Obviously that's a great power supply with great components. Uh, but yeah, I think for me, not worth it. I think for the majority of us, also not worth it. Now, if you're making a new ATX rig and you want a new budget case, like mid-tier budget, well, check this video out right here. That is a top five case video. Took a ton of time making it. It is a masterpiece of a video, if I do say so myself. And I do. All right, this is a consumer tech review and I'll see you guys in the next video.